Good morning, good morning, good morning. Hey, we just wanted to take a moment today and encourage somebody. We wanted to take a moment um, this Monday and pray for y'all. Yeah. Um, we want to pray for people today that may struggle with anxiety, depression, fear. Um, there's a lot of people today that walk around with uh, imposter syndrome yeah. they feel on the inside so broken and so weak and so frail that when they show up to life they don't show up with confidence they don't show up with courage they don't show up expecting victory because they feel so sad rightfully so maybe you've lost someone in your life maybe you're experiencing grief in your life um, we get it life is very challenging the Bible says you will have many trials in this life, right? And so today we just want to start off praying for you all. Could you let us know, let us know if you all are hearing us right now. Um, we're running a mic, so we just want to make sure the mic is working. Um, so yeah, let us know right now as you come on. Thank you God for your love. Thank you God for your goodness. Thank you God for your, your grace, Lord. Thank you. Yes, Lord. All right, we are audible. <laughs> so I'm going to start off before um, you lead us in some songs. If you hear footsteps around, by the way, there's dogs around. They're out here trying to get their worship on somebody, see? That was not a ghost. That, that was, was our dog. Ghost. <laughs> <laughs> that, was, that was not a ghost. That was the dog. <laughs> uh, but I want to start off today praying for you, love. I want to pray a blessing over you this week. Uh, so I was like the night. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Jesus. In Numbers 24, it says, The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine on you and be gracious to you. The Lord turn his face toward you and give you peace. So today, before I pray with you all, I want to pray for my wife. Father, I thank you right now for my wife. You are blessed. You are blessed with peace in Jesus' name. You are blessed with joy in Jesus' name. You are blessed with freedom in Jesus' name. Every day of this week is blessed in Jesus' name. Your August is blessed. Your September is blessed. Yes. Your October, your November, your December, your 2024 is blessed. I declare and I decree nothing will keep your head down in this season. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, God. Your daughter is blessed with wisdom. Yes, Lord. You are blessed with good decisions. You are blessed with a positive outlook in this life. You are blessed with precision, accuracy. You will not waste time going in circles. But you are blessed with precision in Jesus' name. You are blessed with prosperity. Your soul is prospering in Jesus' name. Your heart is prospering in Jesus' name. Your mind is prospering in Jesus' name. You are blessed with good relationships. You are blessed. Our marriage is blessed in Jesus' name. Yes, Jesus, thank you. I want to declare over you today that you are blessed with every good thing. Yes, you are blessed with purpose. Thank you, Holy Spirit. You are blessed and you're going in. You're going out and you're coming in. Yes. You are blessed in the city and you're blessed in the field. You are blessed to do mighty exploits in Jesus' name. You are blessed to be the light of the world, a city on a hill. Your children will be blessed. <laughs> your business will be blessed. Your hands, everything you put your hands to will be blessed. Everywhere the sole of your feet will tread, it will be blessed. Your worship is blessed. Everything in your life today, we call it blessed. In Jesus' name. Woo! 
Do you receive that, my love? Yes, <laughs> so, Father, today we thank you for every person joining in right now. Yes. I declare blessings on them in Jesus' name. I declare hope over their life in Jesus' name. I declare goodness and mercies are following you right now in Jesus' name. If you receive this, I want you to drop in the comment section right now. I receive. I receive. Can I say this scripture over you all now? In Numbers 24, it says, The Lord bless you. Hey, somebody. The Lord keep you. And make his face to shine upon you and be gracious to you. I feel God's presence right now. Somebody's getting set free right now. The Lord make his face to shine on you and be gracious to you. The Lord turn his face toward you and give you peace. Can I prophesy this over you right now? Your marriage is blessed. Your family is blessed. Your children, they're blessed. Your business, bless. Your finances, it's blessed in Jesus' name. All your decisions, everything you put your hands to is blessed. Why don't we speak so much about blessings as Christians? But when you look in the Bible in Genesis, um, it says after God created Adam and Eve, after he made them in his very image and his very likeness, Genesis chapter 1 Verse 28, this is the first thing God said about man. Come on here, somebody. What is the first thing God said about you? What is the first thing God said about me? I see Kathy on. I see Ollie on. I see my mama on right now. Hello. Hi, Mom. Hey. Hunger just popped up. Said, Mom? Mom? <laughs> <laughs> You're blessed. Hunger's our dog, by the way. Yeah, he's our dog. She's right here. Leave her alone. It's okay. Uh, but the first word God used to describe the soul, the state of being, the essence of what we're supposed to walk in is blessed. It says in Genesis 1.28, God blessed them and said to them, be fruitful and increase in number. Fill the earth and subdue it. Come on, somebody. Who received this right now? What's blessing, by the way? We talk about blessing all the time. But what is it? Blessing is not money. It can be money, but it's not money. Um, blessing is not a mansion. It can be a mansion, but it's not It's not stuff. It's not things. Um, it's not the car you drive. I mean, God could bless you with a car, but that, it's beyond that. Uh, blessings is the power to prosper. So when we speak blessings, we're speaking the power of God over you to prosper you. To prosper your joy. Oh, somebody. To prosper your peace. Hello. To prosper your heart. To prosper you on the inside. When you're when you're blessed, you're prospering from the inside out. When you're blessed, hey, I feel God is releasing His presence on somebody here today. When you're blessed, you can sleep in the night. People have businesses and they can't sleep in the night because they're not walking in God's blessing. They're grinding, hustling day and night. They're anxious. Because you know why? You've not received the blessing of God. The Bible says the blessing of the Lord and making thee rich and it adds no sorrow with it. So today, we wanted to speak blessing over your spirit, yes. blessing over your household, blessing over your week. I declare, I decree August, September, October, November, December, in your life is blessed. If you receive it right now, drop some fire in the chat. And I want you to write that I receive in Jesus' name. Thank you, God. Worship with us here today. Just open your hands and receive. Maybe you're driving. Listen. Don't close your eyes. <laughs> Maybe you're doing dishes right now. Just listen and let God pour blessings into your heart. No. Mm -hmm. 
God's word here today. And maybe you've been going through a season where you feel alone. You feel defeated in certain areas of your life. Maybe it's an addiction. Maybe it's a bad habit. Maybe it's an emotional injury that happened in your childhood or in the last divorce. The brokenness, the pain, the trauma snaps something from your soul. And it feels like in this season, you are here, but you're emotionally dehydrated. You show up to everyone, you're happy, you are strong for others, but when you're alone, you're like tired. Your faith is fatigued. And I want to pray right now that the Holy Spirit will fill you with His presence in Jesus' name. Yes. You are filled and overflowing right now with the Holy Spirit. I speak right yes. now. God is filling your room. God is filling your car. I don't know if you're laying in a couch right now with your PJs on. Wherever you are, Holy Spirit is touching you right now in Jesus' name. He's flooding you with strength. He's renewing your spirit. Amen. He is refreshing you right now. Who needs a refreshing right now? Hearts. Maybe your heart needs to be refreshed. Maybe your mind needs to be refreshed. Your mind felt like a war. Mental battles. Can I tell you? You can't fix mental issues without first fixing your spiritual issue. See, y'all don't want this. You can't fix mental issues and emotional issues without first fixing your spiritual issue. Yeah. And to fix your spiritual issue, you need Jesus. Yes. You need the love of Jesus. You need the freedom of Jesus. You need the victory of Jesus. You need the goodness of Jesus. You need the grace of Jesus. You need the blood of Jesus. So today, I just want you to receive right now. Maybe you've been far away from Jesus not thought about him in a while. Can I tell you, he never stops thinking about you. Yes. Even when I wandered, even when I backslide, I had many seasons like that. Oh, Jesus has been there waiting for me. Yeah. He's been there waiting for you. Can we sing this one more time? Yes. Hallelujah. Worship with us, y'all. Yes.
resurrection and my life. He's the drink that I drink, that when I drink that drink, I have never thirst since. He's the bread of life. He's the lily of the valley. He's the, I feel like I'm in church right now. He's the rose of Sharon. He says, I will say of my Lord, what do you say of your Lord? He is my refuge and my fortress. My God in him will I trust. Surely he will save you from this foulest snare. And from the deadly pestilence, he will cover you with his feathers, and under his wings you will find refuge. His faithfulness will be your shield and rampart. You will not fear the terror of night, nor the arrow that flies by day, nor the pestilence that stands in the darkness, nor the plague that destroys at midday. A thousand will fall at your side. And 10,000 at your right hand. Listen, I received this somebody. Snatch this up because this is going to be what God wants to do over your life. A thousand will fall at thy side, 10,000 at your right side, but it will not come near you. Yes. Receive that right now. Yes. It will not come near you. You will only observe with your eyes and see the punishment of the wicked. If you say the Lord is my refuge, you got to say it. You gotta say he's good. Yes, I know it's cheesy, and we like to say this God is good all the time. And all the time, God is good. But the Bible wants you to say of the Lord. He says, if you say the Lord is your refuge, if you say he's your resurrection and your life, if you say he is your freedom, come on now, if you say he is the God of love, if you say he's your provider, yeah. what do you say? If you say the Lord is your refuge and you make the most high your dwelling. Come on now, you have to make him your dwelling. It doesn't just happen because you get saved. You have to make God the place you dwell. Yes. Where do you dwell? When you're driving mindlessly sometimes, do you dwell in the meditation of your trauma? Is that where you dwell? Oh my gosh. <laughs> do, do you dwell in the anxieties of the future? Do you dwell in the stresses of your day? Where do you dwell? He says, if you say the Lord is my shepherd and you make the most high your dwelling, high, yes. no harm will overtake you. No disaster will come near your tent. For he will command his angels over you to guard you in all your ways. They will lift you up in their hands so that you will not strike your foot against a stone. You will tread on the lion and the cobra. You will trample the great lion and the serpent. Watch this now, guys. Because he loves me, says the Lord, I will rescue him. I will protect him. For he acknowledges my name. He will call on me and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him and honor him. This is what God promises for you. 
With long life will I satisfy him and show him my salvation. Can I speak a prayer over you right now? We, but we, we're going to be do, doing a lot of praying today. <laughs> I pray right now that whatever you have made your dwelling place, maybe it's the anxiety, maybe it's a drink, maybe it's a pill, maybe it's a, a drug, maybe it's shopping. <laughs> Some people, when they're stressed, they go shopping. Maybe it's TV, Netflix, games. I don't know what you made, the place that you go to dwell. Um, I've had seasons in my life where I, I would uh, meditate reminisce I'd reminisce in things and I realized that the enemy had wired my brain can I be honest with y'all here for a second can I be vulnerable with y'all here for a second if I can be that just drop in the chat yes pastor you can be vulnerable okay we love to be vulnerable we love to be a people that's honest and open and I remember like going through the season where I would just be reminiscing on certain things and thinking about it and over and over and over like being absorbed by it and the Holy Spirit said he said the enemy tried to construct the wiring of my mind to think like this in a default because I don't even realize that I'm thinking like that and the Holy Spirit said I want to reconstruct your mind I'm like what he said yeah I want to make your mind my dwelling place how many of you want that right now I want my mind to be reconstructed by the Holy Spirit where my mind becomes a host for the presence of the Holy Spirit in Jesus name I pray that over you right now that as you listen to this word, God is reconstructing your mind. Wiring you to his word. Wiring you into a state of constant worship. In Jesus' name. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Let's worship you all. Thank you, Father. And whatever you've been in through in life, you can just sit in his presence and feel his love that he has for you. The song, It Is Well, is about a dad who went across the sea because he just found out that his wife and kids just got taken away from the storm. Mm. But instead of just crying and his pity and being upset and mad at the Lord, he was crying out saying, It is well with my soul. Amen. Because he knew where his wife and his kids were. How many kids he lost? So whatever you're going through in life, I just wanted to say it is well. That God's got you and he has his arms wrapped around you. Come on. I receive in Jesus' name. He has his arms wrapped around you. His agape love will never leave you. I receive. If this is blessing you right now, please share it with others. Don't keep this blessing for yourself. Let's bless others. Let's encourage others this week. Let's help others receive the peace of God into their souls.
your soul right now? Won't you drop it in the chat? It is well with my soul. No matter what's happening around me, I will not let it affect what's happening on the inside of me. Christ in me, the hope of glory. Christ in me, the hope of glory. Situations don't determine my joy, my peace, my rest, my freedom. No. My childhood, my past, my future. It don't dictate who I am. Jesus alone. The cross alone. in Philippians chapter 4 verse 4 rejoice in the Lord always yes. I will say it again rejoice mm. it's like he's saying rejoice in the Lord and he says always so joy rejoice is to have joy again so he says have joy again in the Lord always so be in a state of perpetual joy and then he says I will say it again rejoice yeah. like my boy he's wanting us to have joy in God no matter what's happening and I believe the book of Philippians is written when uh, Paul was in prison too he says let your gentleness be evident to all the Lord is near you I don't know who wants to snatch this up right here it says do not be anxious about anything but in every situation, by prayer and petition. Hey, that is bars right there. Don't be anxious about anything, but in everything. Hello, somebody. Yeah. By prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, pr present your request to God. And I love the scripture. And the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, yes. will guard your heart and your mind in Christ Jesus. I want to speak this as a declaration and a prayer over someone here today. I don't know who needs to hear this, but the word of God says, and the peace of God, yes. which transcends all understanding, will guard your heart and your mind in Christ Jesus. Yes. God has set up a guard over your heart and your mind, and it's peace. But it's a peace that only God can give. It's a peace that it's found in Jesus because... You know what the Bible says about Jesus? He's the Prince of Peace. Yes. So you can't truly find peace apart from Jesus. And I pray peace over your business. Yes, I pray peace over your marriage. Yes. I pray peace over your kids. I pray peace over your household. I pray peace over your relationships. And the peace of God will guard your heart and your mind in Christ Jesus. Yes. Thank you, Holy Spirit. We receive your peace right now. Yes. Who needs peace in their soul right now just let him fill you with his peace thank you holy spirit for your love thank you god
just your creator, but he's also everlasting. He's the God that never needed anything. <laughs> That's why he's called love. The Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, triune love, infinite love, everlasting love. They did not need anything. Because if there was ever a time where God was, let's just say, by himself, and there was not a trinity, then God won't be loved because he would have been by himself. But God is love, and what he did, and the reason you are alive, and the reason there is this moment in time is because the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, he predestined you all. He predestined us. He chose us. He said, you know what? I want you all to come, and I want you all to experience my greatness. I want, I want my, I want to create children, <laughs> and I want to love them, even though they do stupid things. We all do stupid things. No, no, we're perfect. Yeah, we're, we're so perfect. Um, even though we're unrighteous and we have devices and, and and we lie, he saw it all, all of history. But the greatness of God says, I will not be intimidated by man's sin. That's one thing I love by, about God. He's like, I saw everybody's wrong. Everybody sinned. From Saul, the man who murdered Christians in the Bible, he said, I'm greater than him. Yeah. I'm greater than his sin. Uh, I don't know who needs to hear this today. I'm greater than what anything Saul can do. Moses, the man who brought the Ten Commandments, one of which says, thou shalt not kill, he murdered a man in a, in a, in a, in a part of his life. And God still chose him because God is greater than our sin. God is greater than our past. God is greater than anything you've ever done in your entire life. There are certain areas of your life you wish in your head, I hope I don't get caught. And those areas of your life, if you know exactly where it is, God is greater than that. And He has the freedom, He has the love, He has the, the righteousness to overcome that. It's found in Him. He's greater than your addiction. Today is freedom for somebody. <laughs> Somebody's going to grow today like never before. You're going to get better today. Receive His greatness right now. Thank you, God. Can we all sing this out? In the name of all things. is great somebody can you drop some fire in the chat right now could you drop some emojis that says praise God can you drop some prayer emojis in the chat right now because you know that your God is great hey guys we just wanted to come on and just sing a few songs for y'all here today just worship God just for those whose souls felt suffocated to those who felt dislodged in, in their hearts, in their mind, due to loss and tragedy and injustice and brokenness. Um, to those who feel so lost right now in life, we just wanted to come on and speak a word of hope. Because yes. our God is the anchor of our hope. And His name is Jesus. And so right now, as we end off this live stream, we just want to say, may God bless you this week. Yes. May God cover you in all the areas of your life right now that you feel lack, you feel alone I pray God prosper your relationships yes, Jesus. I pray God overwhelm your heart with his kindness with his love I pray a higher level of wisdom over your mind yes. this week I pray that this week you'll make decisions about your future that will cause every action in your life to move forward five years at a time yes. I don't know who wants to snatch that up yeah. but receive it right now God has wisdom for you that if you receive this wisdom, it can move your life faster. The wisdom of God. 
I pray right now God's grace over your heart. I pray right now the chains are broken. The chains of addiction, the chains of anxiety, the chains of low self-esteem, the chains of imposter syndrome, the chains of your childhood, the trauma, whatever it may be. We lose those chains right yes, now in Jesus', Jesus name. Yes, He's a chain breaker. Yes, God. There is nothing. Can I say something to someone? Do, do we have one more song? Or Okay. I, I heard you switch keys. But can I say this to someone? There is no problem. There is no issue. There's no struggle that God's word does not have a grace yes. to solve. There's no issues. There's no issues too big for God. There's a grace. If you're struggling right now, there's a grace in the Bible called freedom. <laughs> yes. If you're trapped right now and you feel stuck, there's a grace in this book called wisdom. If you don't know what to do next, there's a grace in the Bible called the anointing of God that can break the yokes in your life. I can go on and on. There's graces in this book. There's graces in God for every issue, everything in your life. And today we just want to come on and encourage you. Run to the feet of Jesus. Yes, God. Because in Him is found everything. Yes, Amen. Amen. Selah. Selah. We good? We Gucci? Gucci. Gucci, Gucci made? Alright. We love you all. Y'all have a great day. God bless you all. Bye, guys.